19th century writer Henry David Thoreau writes, My desire for knowledge is intermittent, but my desire to commune with the spirit of the universe, to be intoxicated with the fumes, call it, of that divine nectar, to bear my head through atmospheres and over heights unknown to my feet, is perennial and constant. Which is to say, the experience and effects of concrete knowledge can be fleeting, but the wonder found in the spirit of the unknown. You see, we fear to make mistake. We fear. So, tell me what you don't fear. You understand, family? And that is the reality of this life. We, the, we fear. But you don't let me fool you. They have become the weapons of political despots. Yes, ma'am. And I if you don't think as they think, you're deprived of your passport. Will you allow me to... To leave a country is like breaking out of jail. Yes, And to enter a country is like going through the eye of a needle. But Am I free to travel? Of course you're free to travel. Only with a passport. Will you allow me to say so? Only with a passport. Do animals need passports? <laughs> have you finished? It's in that in this atomic age of speed, we are shut in and shut out the real fear even the government you think me fear any 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 evil in this world you think afraid of any program in this world you think afraid of any brainwashing in this world family oh the hell i'm going to stoop low to mankind level family and i'm a spirit oh the hell the body going to control me to tell me what to do oh mankind and they like a petty the real fear of reality you see yeah so that is the real fear even the government you think me fear any 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 evil in this world you think afraid of any program in this world you think afraid of any brainwashing this world family oh the hell i'm going to stoop low to mankind level family and i'm a spirit oh the hell the body the government them fear. The government them are fear. Eh? Alright. Alright, love your family. Well on there. Blaze fire. Righteousness must rise. How do you do, Rupert? How do you do? Sit down. And what's that you're reading? Karl Marx. Surely you're not a communist. Do I have to be a communist to read Karl Marx? Rupert. That's a valid answer. Well, if you're not a communist, what are you? Nothing. Nothing? with the chain stores will you shut up not a chance monopoly is the menace of free enterprise as i look back 60 years ago well, 60 years ago. Much power. the roman empire collapsed with the assassination of caesar and why if you because of too much power feudalism blew up with the french revolution and why right. because of too much power and today the whole world will blow up and why because, because of, of too power. much power the monopoly of living in you see we fear to be ourself because what we are a spirit and if it talk spirituality our own one is like you fear for someone to say you are mad you are crazy you see you fear to go to a wedding just in a like what we don't fear we fear to have cancer we fear to have hiv we fear to have corona we fear we blind we fear we don't have the right words to say we fear god we fear the devil we fear police you go to your dream you go to your vision you go to um like you meet families all over the world and they are guiding you and they are saying something is not right that is your journey because your journey already chose its way before you come into the world your family was already chosen for you 
before you come into the world. The nature and see what is happening and going on in nature on a daily basis. You see what I'm saying? So, at this state of time, when you realize that the universe is turning and it's turning into the African people favor because what has been removed from its rightful place must return to its rightful place because there's some from its rightful place must return to its rightful place because there's some some ones that take a seat that never belonged to them in the first place so they realize now is the time for, their, for them to be removed from the seat that was never given to them, but was stolen. You see what I say? So all of these madness that you see that is taking place right now, it is just because they know that what is coming their way, they can... Uh, and, you know, the, it, the, 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 the side effects were not super severe. That is, it didn't cause permanent health problems for uh, the things there. They, you know, Moderna did have to go with a fairly high dose. And so, uh, you know, to get the antibodies, some of the other vaccines uh, are going able to go with lower doses to get uh, responses that are, are pretty high, including the because there are some, some ones that take a seat that never belonged to them in the first place. So they realize now is the time for, their, for them to be removed from the seat that was never given to them, but was stolen. You see what I say? So all of these madness that you see that is taking place right now, it is just because they know that what is coming their way, they cannot, get, they cannot escape it in any way. They what we see, we have to pay bills and all these things. It's all a lie and it's all brainwash and manipulate. Fuck the government. Fuck the politicians. Fuck the tax collectors. We can convince you that you are truly isolated and alone. That you are the only one who sees through their crap. Then of course, you won't speak out. So try it. Find the allies that you didn't know you had. Say it. I own myself. You own yourself. Fuck the government. Say it. I own my life. You own your life. Fuck the politicians. Say it. I own the fruits of my labor. You own the fruits of your labor. Fuck the tax collectors. Say it. I will govern. Yeah, man, are up rising. Yeah, man, family. Like I said now, open your eyes, don't be blind. Open your mind, no off you think. You know what I mean? Open your ears, no off you listen. Open your mouth, no off you say. To them, I'll quote the Bible. Because sometimes, you know, sometimes come like fam family forget. Like a lot of things. So the son, I say, good morning, see him here. Let me show you. Uh, they are religious because uh, Rasta, Rasta is not a religious, isn't it? And say it's a tra tradition. But um, Christians say it, they are re religion, not you. So, yeah, so we are going to quote the Bible today. You remember when they say, oh, family, I'm going to run to the rock and the rock I'm going to refuse them. All right, so you see, you know what the year when Kobe here go on and all of these things and all temple have to be emptied out, innit? All of these things, you know, you know about that part there, you know what I mean? Like when you go up on um, the internet now, these things popping up in front of your face and all of these things. And tell you about um, um, people going to put microchip in their body. As you see, they want to influence the, the vaccine with microchip in it. You know, like foam, foam start from a liquid in it and start from a liquid. It spread out in the skin. Foam start from a liquid in it. And start from a liquid. It spread out in the skin. But this is not gonna spread out like like a foam or no. It it go like send out some microchip. You understand family? A microchip is like the one them in your phone. You know, like they make microchips so small now, it come like a solder 
you know, like a water truck, you know what I mean? And when they do that, they can truck you wherever you go, you know what I mean? It's just like a... You it's a long, long time Since I've got you on my mind Ooh. And now you are here I said it's so clear To see what we could do, honey Just me and you for me to steer Take the man inhale the bacteria, you know, family. <laughs> hey, family, hear me. A wicked hey, the government. Good morning, beautiful. Oh, you, you made my day. Yeah, you want me to give you a hand? Yeah, I know a lady can do everything what a guy can do, you know. But yeah, have a beautiful day. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, yeah, but all right. Africa unite Cause we're moving right out of Babylon And we're going to our father's land Yeah How good and how pleasant it would be Before God and man Yeah to be what you wanted us to be we are what we are that's the way it's going to be if you don't know you can't educate us or no equal we don't know how most of our brain works or what consciousness is. We don't know if time is real in any physical sense. We don't know what gravity is or why it is. We don't know if there are infinite other universes or dimensions around us right now. We don't know why energy or matter even came to be in the first place or why it was followed by a perfect sequence of colliding, combining, exploding, and emerging, all to put us here, right now, able to ask why. At the base of almost everything, the resulting statement is, we don't know. When we and the nothing, the knowing and the unknowing. In truth, no matter what we think we know, we are probably wrong. And no matter what anyone else thinks they know, they are probably wrong. Nobody ever figures out what life is all about, and it doesn't matter. Explore the world. Nearly everything is really interesting if you go into it deeply enough, said renowned theoretical physicist Richard Feynman. At this point, no one truly knows what's going on in any fundamental sense. Nothing about this life is simple or clear, and nothing down here background and the black the figure on the ground or else the black must be the background and the white cup showing up on it and so in this way we are unable to see really we can think it after a while we can get accustomed to the idea that the figure on the ground the black and the white are mutually necessary to each other. In that figure that I showed you, 